بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم This is Gabriel Romani for the Daily Reminder إخوة والأخوات الأكارم Dear brothers and sisters What is more important for a Muslim after establishing the Tawheed of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala After establishing that he is the only one worthy of worship That he is the one who has created us That he is the one who has sent the messengers To warn us, to give us hidayah, to guide us And to tell us what to abstain from and what to do and what are the ways to, or the way towards Jannah and what is the way to abstain and to protect ourselves from hellfire. What is more important than worshipping this Lord right now? If we've established that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one and only, then this requires now that we worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has prescribed for us the five daily prayer. The five daily prayers are the body, the soul, the driving force of our worship to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yes, there are, there's other forms of worship. There's siyam, there is qiyam, there's the nawafir, there's the sadaqah. There's many things, subhanAllah, that we can do as Muslim. However, your siyam, your nawafir, all the other things that you hajj, your umrah, is not really, how can I put in the right words, counts that much if you don't pray. Don't get me wrong. If you do not pray your five daily prayers, if you do not start with the requirements, the basics, you know, subhanAllah, you have people, they're fasting Ramadan. They don't pray. They don't pray in Ramadan. They don't pray Fajr. They don't pray Dhuhr. They don't pray Asr. They don't pray Maghrib. They don't pray Shah. But they fast. Then they go for Hajj. Imagine, subhanAllah, what audacity. Do we have thinking that we'll go for Hajj? We don't pray. You go for Hajj, you do your Hajj, you know, whatever you need to do, and then you come back home again, and you don't pray again. Willingly. Not that, you know, maybe you got sick, or you something, no. You just, Carlos, I'm not praying. SubhanAllah. This is the main thing. As the Prophet Sallallahu said in Hadith, that the prayer is like the head of the camel. And the jihad is like the hump of the camel. If you cut the head of the camel, prayers, the camel's dead. If you cut the hump of the camel, the camel is, pay attention, paralyzed. SubhanAllah. Yeah, he let us look at the status of our ummah. <laughs> some of us are dead and some of us are paralyzed. Maybe actually, SubhanAllah, most of the ummah is paralyzed. Brothers and sisters, this is the basic thing. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is actually telling us, ordering us. Allah is telling us, it is an order. Establish salah. Not that, uh, I'll pray here. Establish it. Establishing salah doesn't mean that you just kind of roll out of bed. Allahu Akbar, do I have wudu? I don't have wudu maybe, uh, go back to sleep. No, establishing salah is a system. It's your life. It is your individual relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as well as the communal relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That you join your brothers, that you join your sisters and you establish salah, that you go to the masjid, that you establish this salah with the jama'ah, with the people. This is something very important. Yes, our deen is on an individual basis, our relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But this is not it. There is a communal, there is a communal responsibility that we come together and we worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as one community. This is something very important. Brother, sister, if we don't pray, if you don't pray, what is the purpose of your life? What do you do? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave you these eyes that you are watching right now this video with. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave you the sight that you are listening to this audio with. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave you this hand that you can point with. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave you these legs that you can walk on. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave you this heart that beats and pumps the blood and oxygenates your cells. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave you the feeling, the sensory, receptors that can help you feel and touch, smell, taste. Where would you be without Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Doesn't this require at least, subhanAllah, look, we're talking here, trying to motivate each other 
to pray. This is the basic. This is the least anyone can do. Actually, this was not even, subhanAllah, a measurement before. Today, it's a measuring stick if you're a good Muslim or not. You know, in the past, the sort of Salih, the Tabi'in, this was not the measuring stick whether they prayed the five daily prayers or not. Brothers and sisters, don't you need Allah? This is the beginning. You're a sinner, you're sitting there and say, I'm a sinner. Okay, good. This is the beginning. Start praying. Make Tawbah. This is the way to make Tawbah. Make that sujood. Prolong it as the Prophet ﷺ said, you want Jannah, help me by prolonging your sujood. Prolong your sujood and ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, ar-Rahman, ar-Rahim, to forgive you and forgive me. Barakallahu feekum. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Gabriel al-Romani for the daily reminder.